So in this session, very cool. We're going to start out with some young champions mm -hmm. because they are so inspiring. We yeah. have got these young people who are achieving amazing things at very tender ages. Puts us all to shame, doesn't it? Well, show you a couple <laughs> of the sites they've built. You've all got Let's to have a look. This. Let's have a look at what the young this champions are doing. up and coming legends. Laugh and cupping. So imagine your kids are learning how to do this stuff. Actually, Liam, this site's probably changed since then, Liam, has, hasn't yeah, it? I, I just, didn't take a new screenshot. I, I just did a web reno the other day with Liam and his mum, Catherine, on this site. But awesome site, best motorbikes, adding Amazon affiliate program for monetization, and it's growing. So this is a site that Liam just built from scratch. Why? Because obviously he's passionate about dirt bikes. Pretty cool. Yep. And oh, this is his he's site. a record holder. Yep. Liam still holds the record for our fastest website build. So as you've heard, we do a website build challenge in, in the Champions. And 43 minutes, <laughs> Liam put, submitted his side. Put all us oldies to shame. <laughs> and it's just, it just, and it's a simple yeah, website. Yeah, round of applause. That is pretty <laughs> impressive. Okay, so if Liam can build a website in 43 minutes. So after hearing that webinar that day, website challenge came out. And literally, the, the minute he got off the webinar, he turned up with this. Uh, that's pretty impressive, including a light little bit of um, uh, keyword research. Yep. Best wheelbarrows, best quality wheelbarrows, and a hundred under a hundred dollar wheelbarrows. wheelbarrows. Awesome, nice. And here's Liam's first paid build. It's a local business website build, and so this is a year later. We yep. should mentioned Liam is now fifteen 15. years old, so he's matured somewhat. You're getting old, Liam. <laughs> like you're coming out like but who can see the difference in his journey look at these sites mm -hmm. it yeah. is stunning go liam that mate that is really well done and catherine you um ah, and they be... found him on their digital agency site yep so never met so you remember in the last session we said you know networking on zoom and just thought they've never met this person physically this is during covid so here's liam um not bad when you're 15 in lockdown homeschooling you're earning two grand for building a website that's awesome. Beats working at Macca's any day, I reckon. I know. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. And his mother-son team, Paulina and Max. So Max is 15 years old when he built this one with his mum. Security systems, great niche and really nice website design. And here's one for their digital agency. I love the name, Max. I think Max chose the name. I love the site. The, the, RPM. So both Paulina and Max have a really good eye for building websites. And Max is Max and Liam, um, they're so active in our um, Champions Facebook community that I don't think half the Champions realise that that Max is only 15 years old and he's helping them out with all his technical <laughs> yeah. stuff. So Max gets into the Champions Facebook page and answers lots of stuff. I think some of you would have seen him on Digital Investors as well. But you're about to meet who Max is. He's actually 15. He's not an adult. And... Um, <laughs> So these guys are learning, um, obviously, some incredibly valuable skills for their future. They know now how to build money-making websites. Imagine learning that at 15. Yeah. Gosh, I wish I'd learned that at 15. I know. Out. Um, better than going to uni, that's for sure. But you did not hear me say that. The, no, there's a place for uni as well, there's, too. I'm not down on is. uni. I'm not down on uni. But, but add, a, add some extra skills to it. Yeah. And, uh, Kristen, of course, Kristen. This is one of your first site builds, and I loved it. Um, oh, I still love it. Um, and first sight with two languages, so it was English and Chinese. So that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> oh, thanks, Alexa and Nathan. What? Who wrote that one? Websites <laughs> didn't exist when you were they 15. They actually didn't. Matt. They actually didn't. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you Alexa wrote that. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Burn. Yeah, burn. <laughs> oh, man. Actually, that's true. So how about we get these guys <laughs> up and meet these amazing young people and see how uh websites and having this good digital knowledge has changed and affected their lives so welcome well, aboard welcome up Kristen, max and liam let's get the guys up here hang on let's go to this hey, hey. <laughs> hey guys <laughs> g'day max g'day paulina hello all the way from cairns uh, Hi. tropical queensland Tropical Queensland, yeah, yeah you right. guys are, live up in tropical Queensland. G'day, Catherine and Liam. How are you guys going? Good, thank Good, you. thank you. Fantastic. Oh, well, thanks so much, guys, for being up. Um, welcome up. And we wanted to talk to you about the journey as a teenager. So, Kristen, we'll start with you. Um, how did you end up getting introduced to the world of websites? 
Yeah, well, I came on, along to this three-day event for the first time when I was 12 because um, my parents had signed up, so they brought me along. And um, I, I just kind of, for the first couple of years, came along to the events, um, listened to the webinars kind of in the background as my parents would play them. And then uh, when I was 15, so in 2017, I started realizing, oh, this is actually such a cool opportunity. And so I, I begged my parents if we could get get on board with Champions. And um, then, yeah, just kept going from there and built my first website and then um, eventually started getting getting um, clients on board and, and just going from there. So, Man, that is awesome, Kristen. And <laughs> you have grown so much over the time that we've known you. And um, now from being quite a shy young teenager, um, can I just, I'm just what a, so impressed. Kristen is now part of a business networking group. Um, so in with, the, just like Amanda, with the lawyers, the accountants, all these um, business people <laughs> and she is the go-to girl for the website <laughs> questions and plus do you want to tell us what you're doing with your BNI group as well yeah like in a leadership kind of aspect or yeah 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 so I I um when I first uh someone asked me to join as a member I was like okay I'll give the the membership a go but that's that's where I'll stop I'm not going to take on any leadership roles or anything like that. Um, but then I was asked to um, become an ambassador for another uh, another VNI group, which means just implementing um, different uh, bits of feedback for the group and helping them develop and um, just, yeah, being on the leadership team there. Wow. So, yeah, I took that on, which has been, been really rewarding. And then I was also asked to be the webmaster for my own BNI group, which means managing the social media presence. So yeah, I guess getting to contribute on the leadership team has been really good. It kind of gives me more visibility um, yeah. in the BNI community as well. Yeah. That is just fantastic. Do you think, did you think when you were 13 or 12 that you would be in that position? No, <laughs> no, 100% not. Because I remember <laughs> when I first uh, went along to BNI meetings. I was so out of my depth. I was like, why am I here? This is so daunting. But um, yeah, I guess you just keep showing up and over time it, it gets, you know, you grow your comfort zone and yeah, that's definitely happened. And that's what yeah. we so admire about you, Kristen. You step up and you challenge your comfort zones and we've seen you grow so much over these last years. So a massive congratulations to you. And a huge future ahead of you too. So well done. Congratulations. Yeah. And um, being in business with your mum and dad and we'll yeah. hear from you all tomorrow too. You guys are doing big yeah. sites as well now. You run this full digital agency plus you've got the big portfolio sites plus Australia's biggest directory site when it comes to pets. Well yeah. done. Yes. So it's just, just amazing, yeah. <laughs> and, and Paulina and Max. So Max, do you want to tell us your journey? How did you get started? Was it the same as Kristen? Did mum drag you along or did you want to come? Um, yeah, <laughs> sort of. Um, basically, mum was good friends with Julie. As you may know, Julie Hipsley was her previous champion. Um, and, yeah, she, we mum signed up to the Digital digital Profits program, I think it was. And, um, yeah, she sort of told me about the whole thing, about websites and how you can build your own website and it can go on the internet and people can look at your website and stuff. Um, and yeah, and then we sort of, she didn't drag me and I just sort of wanted to go because I found found it pretty interesting. Like I didn't know awesome. anything about websites. I just sort of like technology and all the other stuff. So yeah, we just sort of went to the three day workshop, really liked you guys, Matt and Liz, how you guys taught the whole website thing and the amazing stories of all the previous champions and everyone else on the course and all the amazing websites. Um, and then, yeah, we signed up for champions at the three day workshop and yeah, it's been amazing since then. Yeah. Um, we're super impressed, Max. Yeah. So Max is awesome. It, again, challenging his challenges in challenging his comfort zone. He gets in there at the boot camp. Max is going around networking with all the other champions and um, actually you're working with one of the champions now, aren't you? 
Yeah, yeah, I was, I think it was at either the first or second um, boot camp, was it? Or one of the workshops. Anyway, um, so Damon, Damon Edwards, he, yeah, sort of chat, inboxed me. And yeah, uh, I think we we're talking before. Anyway, so he inboxed me and yeah, he just said, hi, nice to meet you and all that. And we sort of went from there. Um, we had a Zoom call or a Teams call and yeah, I think we just clicked really well. Yep. Um, we sort of have the same sort of interests. We've got the same colours. We like the same colours. You know. <laughs> but yeah, um, and then we just sort of clicked from there and we've, I've done a few websites for him, done a few things around. He's helped us a lot as well, um, like some questions. We've become really good friends with him. And, yeah, it's just a really good friendship that we've developed over the last couple, 18 months or something, or how yeah. long have been on Champions. So, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. And both you and your mum build awesome websites. Yeah, you do. Everybody you do say together. that. Yep. They're, they're you guys build websites. great websites. You must websites. be very proud of Max Paulina. That's, um, you've done, yeah. you've done, the two of you have done so really well. I mean, it's the right thing to say you've done really well. Um, <laughs> but you must be very proud of, uh, of, of Max. And, and I do love that last website, uh, the RPM Digital, I think. Yep. Gosh, that's good. Good name, Max. Well. <laughs> And Maxi did this website, the car mechanic, uh, mobile car mechanic. It was the website challenge, and it was the last three months ago. It was yeah. a challenge, yeah, yeah, a uh, week, week, ch week challenge to build this yeah. website. And yeah. he, as soon as he hear the word challenge, yeah. he, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. he bought the domain name and he built his website in, I don't know, he started on Sunday and finished on Monday. So wow, right. twenty four hour website. Twenty four hours website. All right. yeah. so it was Gold Coast Mechanic. Yeah, Gold it's Coast. Gold Coast Mobile Automotive. So I was sort of this was what three months ago or something. I was sort of getting into cars because I'm getting a bit older and be me, me and my brother and my dad we sort of get into cars a lot. Um and yeah, sort of the challenge came up. I was looking at YouTube videos of cars and stuff. Um, and then, it, yeah, I just said, oh, all right, cool, challenge, local business, what can we do? Um, looked around, okay, mobile mechanic or mobile auto electrician, went on Keyword Finder, like typed up the all the competitors, did like a really quick research thing. Um, just I just got really into it and, yeah, went on WordPress or went on, um, yeah, bought a domain, bought hosting, just easy, easy stuff that we can do in, yeah, under an hour. Roughly, wow. so we know how to do it. And, and was this a paid job, Max, or is this a, no, it's friend? a website challenge? Yeah, no, for the you... website challenge. For the website Sorry. challenge. Yeah. But it was for a local business, didn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, it's for the LLA program. So it, it ah, wasn't for business, right. it's for lead generation. Okay. Um, so brilliant. yeah, we jumped on Divi because we love Divi. <laughs> um, and yeah, I'm not sure if you heard the recent update, Matt. It's Divi's getting quicker. <laughs> oh, oh, there you go. I, I'm not a fan He's of Divi. He's going to be right. So, He's going to be right. So you're going to be right, are you? So, so yeah. Divi is getting faster, finally. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I built that one. Um, to be honest, I haven't put as much effort as I should, um, which will be a goal that we'll be doing over the next yeah year or so just Fantastic. to get it up and running. Yep. Um, yeah. I just looked at it. And to be honest, the the competition, very low. Oh, exciting. The, yeah. yeah it was a bit you'll, of a, you'll do well out of that. That's a fantastic, guys. That. Awesome. Yeah, so I went on Divi and built the site up. In, wow. So imagine yeah. having that skill at 15 to be able to build a site within a day. If Max has an idea or if Paulina or if Kristen has an idea, they can just launch it into life straight away they can create money they can build websites for local businesses and sell them um have we lost adam and adam and oh, sorry um liam and catherine yeah um just yeah so guys out quickly just for both of you um what's what's your biggest tip for people when they get started and and should a young person do this is it, is it a worthwhile journey Yes, I think it's the best decision what parents should um, should in, involve their kids um, in digital uh, digital programs, building websites. It's a future. Um, I will, you know, if if I can do it um, again for my other son, I will probably do it again because it's it's the lifestyle life skills what every child should know um, with growing 
with with digital world growing so quickly um it was one of the best decisions i ever made for yeah. to, to join champions program to go and to involve max um in this program and and he set up if he's um if he have the same mindset today in next couple of years he will be very successful and yeah. i know that he is growing his, his skills um and developing his skills and he's growing he's more mature every every month awesome. so um yeah the, one of the best decision and if we can join it for another year and another year and another year we will be with you guys oh awesome. <laughs> all right <laughs> <laughs> well, we would love to have you. You're amazing members of the community. Um, and and Kristen, Kristen, how about you? Yeah, I would say definitely getting into it at a young age is, is a cool opportunity and I don't take it for granted that I get to learn these skills. Um, and I think for me it was, uh, my parents brought me along to the events, but for me it was important that I made the decision myself that I wanted to pursue it um so it wasn't forced on onto me um to do it but yeah you just keep showing up and um yeah you realize how how cool of a skill it is and i think um when you're just starting out just pick something and and implement one action or, or do something every day just keep showing up because the um it, it compounds over time and then you kind of look back um and you realize, oh, I've, I've come a long way. So it's, awesome. yeah, just the importance of showing up and, and keeping consistent. Very wise yeah. words. Thank you, Kristen. Thank, thank, you, thank you, Max and Paulina. And thank, thank you, you, Adam, uh, Catherine and Liam. We can't get you back up, but awesome. Well awesome. done, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Fantastic. Aren't they beautiful? They're, they're so Amazing. inspirational. It is. I love it. Awesome parents too. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so big <laughs> shout out to the parents. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs>